When it comes to kitchen accessories, many cooks choose to forego metal, plastic and silicone in favor of a more classic material, wood. Wood is not only elegant, it's lightweight and very durable, and its look fits in with traditional, contemporary or modern kitchen decor. Rolling pins, meat mallets, cutting boards, trivets are some of the many items this Czech company makes out of beech, a hard and durable type of wood. The first step is to dry out the logs. This prevents the wood from expanding and contracting with humidity changes and eventually cracking. The factory air dries the logs outdoors for about seven months, then heat dries them in a kiln for three to four weeks. When the moisture level is down to between 8 and 10 percent, the wood is ready. Each log first goes through a large automated hacksaw. It slices vertically, cutting the log into several pieces of the specific thickness required for the kitchen accessory in production. Next, a dimensioning saw cuts the pieces to the required length. The final cut saws the pieces to the required width. To make a cutting board, they run one edge of the cut pieces through a gluing machine. Then they assemble the pieces edge to edge in a press. The number of pieces they put together depends on the size of the cutting board they're making. After an hour clamped under pressure, the pieces bond into a large panel. Workers then cut the panel into the smaller pieces, each of which will become a cutting board. A computer-guided milling machine cuts the shape of the cutting board, which in this case is a model with a recessed middle designed to catch crumbs. They submerge the cutting boards in vegetable oil, then let them air dry for a day. Oiling nourishes the wood, which prevents it from drying out. The oil also enhances the color and brings out the beauty of the wood grain. To make rolling pins, workers feed the cut wood through a planer. It finalizes the dimensions to 7 by 7 centimeters wide by 26 centimeters long. Then they mount several pieces at a time onto a machine which has multiple lathes. As each lathe spins, over the course of about 30 seconds, successive tools turn the wood to a cylindrical shape and sand the surface. One cylinder at a time, workers drill a 12 millimeter hole right through the middle. Meanwhile, a small lathe turns 3 by 10.6 centimeter blocks of wood into rolling pin handles. Workers saw off excess wood at the outer end of the handle and sand the area flat. The finished handle goes into a revolving barrel of varnish for about an hour. All the parts are now ready and assembly can begin. After giving the ends a quick sanding, they hammer a nylon ring into the hole on each side of the pin. The ring diameter is slightly larger than that of the hole, so it locks in. Next, they insert a zinc-coated steel rod all the way through, position the rolling pin in a press, fit a handle on one protruding end of the rod, then a second handle onto the other end. They activate the press, which forces the handles all the way onto the rod. The pin rolls smoothly, thanks to the nylon rings. These kitchen accessories showcase the natural beauty of wood. Wood that's FSC certified, meaning it comes from a forest that's managed according to standards of environmental protection.